Suzuki's G-Sex S1000G lineup packs a formidable one-two punch. The initial jab was thrown by the 1000 GT, catching the competition's attention. However, it's the 1000 GX Plus, with its extended travel and GT foundation, that truly captivates. Positioned as a key player in the sport touring arena, the GX Plus faces fierce competition, requiring substantial prowess to secure dominance. Notably, Yamaha's lively, though smaller displacement, Tracer 9 GT Plus and the comparably specced Kawasaki vs. 1000 SELT Plus loom large in discussions. Suzuki introduces a creative perspective, categorizing the GX Plus as part of the crossover category, drawing parallels to rugged, on-road-focused sport utility vehicles dominating suburban landscapes. It caters to riders seeking the elevated stance and enhanced comfort of an adventure bike without the inclination for off-road exploration. The GX Plus also appeals to tech enthusiasts, marking Suzuki's full embrace of electronic advancements. The RiderAid package encompasses a sophisticated electronic suspension system, cornering traction control, cornering ABS, and smart cruise control. Complementing these cutting-edge features are traditional systems like power modes, Suzuki's Easy Start system, low RPM assist, and a bi-directional quickshifter. While the G-Sex S1000GX Plus takes a new direction for Suzuki, it isn't an entirely fresh creation, incorporating components from the existing lineup. The 999 cubic centimeters inline-4 engine, originally powering the iconic K5 G-Sex R1000 and later, retuned for mid-range, serves as the beating heart. Recent modifications, such as reduced valve lift and overlap, enhance environmental friendliness and rideability, reflecting Suzuki's commitment to evolution. While the engine's lack of a fresh start may initially disappoint, especially considering Suzuki's engineering excellence showcased in the character-rich mid-displacement parallel twin of the V-Strom 800 and G-Sex 8 models. Criticizing this power plant for touring or spirited riding proves difficult. Despite its carryover status, the engine boasts proven durability and a well-honed power curve refined over years of model-specific enhancements. Suzuki officially claims 150 horsepower at the crankshaft, though our cycle world dyno test of the last G6. S1000 GT Plus recorded 136 horsepower at 10,400 RPM and 73 pound FT of torque at 9,200 RPM. Similar figures are anticipated for the GX, and what stands out is the impressively flat torque curve, showcasing Suzuki's effort to make this engine street-friendly. It excels in tight corners, offering ample mid-range and top-end power, with a noticeable surge at around 6,000 RPM where the GX truly comes alive, devouring asphalt. It's undeniably a robust and versatile power plant. Throttle response is sharp in a mode and softer in B, providing riders the flexibility to tailor their experience to the riding type. While precise throttle control is not groundbreaking, the performance and refinement align with Suzuki's goal of expanding the GX's versatility. The integration of electronic rider aid systems is commendable, showcasing Suzuki's mastery, even if it hasn't always been at the forefront of the electronic conversation. Special mention goes to the flawless bidirectional quickshifter, seamlessly collaborating with the G-Sex R1000 source transmission for smooth shifts, whether navigating a back road or cruising through the city. Noteworthy is the distinctive, superbike-like exhaust note, contributing to the bike's overall presence. Close your eyes during a GX Plus warm-up, and you can almost transport yourself to the road race paddock of 2005 when G-Sex or 1000S reigned supreme. While the allure of novelty is undeniable, the GX Plus offers a spiritual connection to one of the all-time great motorcycles, adding a unique dimension to the riding experience. In the chassis department, the G-Sex S1000 GX Plus inherits several components, including a twin-spar aluminum main frame sourced from the GT Plus and a swing arm based on the G-Sex R1000. These elements are complemented by an extended, model-specific subframe, contributing structural integrity and accommodating a more substantial rear seat. The Suzuki Advanced Electronic Suspension SAS, provided by Showa, introduces a new dimension to Suzuki's dynamics. While similar to Kawasaki's vs. 1000 SELT+, Suzuki has tailored the system to its preferences. Employing the widely adopted skyhook approach, the suspension utilizes stroke sensors and IMU data to monitor the motorcycle's sprung weight in real time, adjusting front and rear damping settings on rough roads. The rider can choose between hard, medium, and soft settings, 
aligning the bike's response with the type of riding. Further customization is available through a user mode, allowing precise adjustments to the base settings in single-level increments. According to Suzuki, the system doesn't entirely eliminate pitch, acknowledging the rider's reliance on changes in the bike's posture for control. However, the GX features a deceleration-adjustable damping force system, enhancing control during extreme braking and preventing rear wheel lift. The GX Plus also incorporates an electronic rear spring preload system, automatically adapting to changes in load, such as a passenger boarding or disembarking, or luggage addition slash removals. With options like Auto, Single Rider, Single Rider Plus Gear, and Tandem, riders can choose between automatic and manual preload settings. The manual settings allow fine-tuning in single-level increments when configuring the user suspension mode. The objective of electronic suspension is to enable the bike to adapt to diverse conditions and riding styles, and Suzuki succeeds in this aspect with its meticulous tuning of the Showa components. Notably, the distinction between soft, medium, and hard settings is evident, with soft delivering plushness for city riding, medium providing ample support for increased speed, and hard reserved for spirited riding, as affirmed by riders on faster mountain roads. One notable drawback we experienced while riding the GX Plus solo and without luggage was the noticeable suspension movement as the pace increased, especially when the electronic preload was set to auto. Switching to the fixed tandem rear preload and selecting the hard suspension setting addressed this issue, providing a more responsive feel and better stability at lean. However, there remained a lingering lack of full confidence in the front end. Achieving the ideal setup for faster riding might require some time fine-tuning the user mode. In terms of agility, the GX Plus doesn't excel. Despite its competitive weight positioning at a claimed 511 pounds without side bags, the bike exhibits a relatively heavy steering feel, demanding effort when navigating tight corners. On the positive side, stability is commendable. Moving on to the electronics, while electronic suspension takes the spotlight, it's just one facet of the comprehensive package. The GX Plus boasts eight additional electronic rider aid systems. Among them is a seven-mode traction control system featuring roll torque control, a predictive traction management program that adjusts power output based on speed and lean angle data to prevent the rear tire from stepping out. Integrated wheelie control and a traditional traction control system work in tandem, with the latter intervening when the tire begins to slide. This multi-layered approach enhances overall control and safety, showcasing Suzuki's watching. commitment to a technologically a like. advanced riding experience. Leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.